it got to be 4 nothing, and the fighting happened. Did you feel like that at least gave you a, a chance? I mean, there seemed to be a little bit more energy and a little bit more fire out there. Well, I mean, certainly it was a turning point for us. I mean, uh, the work ethic was there, the passion to win, the will to, to play the game the right way, and but it was too late, you know. At 4 nothing. you know, it's it's the, the start of our, our, our game tonight was unacceptable, unacceptable. And what, what did you see out there in those first four goals? Well, I, I seen a, a Swartz line that was men against boys. Um, you know, Agostino Swartz and, and Zarnik to me, uh, put on a clinic. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, I just don't think we did anything right. I mean, I, you know, it wasn't really Copley's fault. You know, um, you could say, could you take him out after three? But I don't know if he had a chance on any of those goals. We just, uh, you know, we had a number of guys that weren't ready to play tonight for whatever reason. Um, and it's just unacceptable, and it's, it's going to change um, because that was probably the worst period in my tenure here as head coach, at, at least in the last two years for sure. I can't remember uh, one of my teams playing like that, and it won't happen again with this group. And we'll just continue to make changes and play the kids. Uh, but there's a number of guys in that locker room that gotta got to step up here and, and, and do a better job of leading this club uh, and getting it in the right direction here because uh, nobody feels for, sorry for yourself. There's just nobody out there that uh, is going to, uh, outside of the, you know, your family and friends and, and the people in the locker room, nobody cares. Nobody cares that we're two games under 500 out of the playoffs. So um, we just got to uh, regroup here. And unfortunately, there's no ice tomorrow morning because they would have paid the price there. But uh, they'll find out what we're all about as a coaching staff Monday morning. Not looking for specifics here, but are, do you feel like you got to make some lineup changes and make some, do something? Well, well certainly, uh, you know, we got Hobbs ready to play. Uh, next week so he'll probably go in and we'll put Albert and Peluso back in and uh, Langlois will be out next week but we'll certainly put three changes and um, you know my loyalty is uh, I think I'm one of my strengths as a coach and um, there's some guys that just aren't getting it done and I've been very very patient at the same time we need results and uh, we've got a young you know seven young rookies in there that are, are trying to find their way uh, when you got young guys like that um, you can't expect them to to do that and uh you know, they're doing the best they can and, and learning on a daily basis from our coaching staff. Um, so we'll just have to move forward here and try and continue to find the right fits. And, um, and you know, guys like Marganeri, we'll keep playing those guys. You know, you can see the work ethic and the passion and how he played the game tonight. And uh, we need more of that, especially from guys that are, you know, aren't contributing on the offensive side of the puck, which has obviously been a, an issue as well. You would mentioned the call yesterday that you were trying to generate more shots between the dots, and that's where you scored the two goals tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I think that we did some of that. Um, I still thought tonight there was a, a moments when we made that extra pass and there was no need to it. Um, you know, we're, we want quality over quantity. I mean, that's, that's uh, something we've preached. Uh, but at the same time, we, we're, we're passing up some opportunities as well. Um, but we did some good things. You know, once uh, we killed that five-minute uh, major, I thought uh, – um, you know, and Siller and uh, Barb's got that first one out of the way. We, we certainly uh, played a lot better, and, and f we could feel the emotion on the bench. And uh, even at 4-2 there, I felt that if we could get a late goal in the power play, that we would get right back in it because I think uh, McIntyre's been struggling of late. Uh, he gave up five last night, and um, I, I felt that if we could get that third one, we, we could make it definitely a hockey game in the third because there's a possibility of getting more. But unfortunately, we couldn't get that third one. Oh, and on a brighter note, which is you and your predecessors have always brought the whole team out to watch that Hall of Fame ceremony, and it's important, I would assume, for all these guys to see, maybe even particularly after tonight, what, what this is all about. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's important that they understand the history of the Hershey Bears and um, what these inductees on a yearly basis mean to their franchise. And um, so there's, you know, from my perspective, I think it's, it's a no-brainer that they come out and... Um, and obviously this year here with, you know, Fenvis is obviously a local guy that uh, uh, me personally, I know, you know, I've, I've, I've been to dinners, you know, where he's been part of them and uh, obviously uh, Doug as well. So, um, you know, but I, again, you know, in the past, there's been guys that uh, maybe some of our players don't even recognize and don't even know. But I think it's important that they understand the history and, and, and what every inductee meant, means to the franchise. Okay, thank you.